hypoxic training is something that has uh, garnered some attention within the endurance community within recent years. And this has normally manifested itself as training at altitude um, or living at altitude. So the general idea that has been found through the literature to be most effective is the live high train low model. So this basically says that an athlete should live at a higher altitude, come down and train at a lower altitude. And that will have some physiologic benefits in uh, performance at sea level that's been generally shown in the research. So what if you don't have access to altitude? There's a couple things that we can do uh, to mimic those situations, and we tend to perform those in the form of um, different hypoxic intervals. So you can kind of play with different techniques here. One of the things that we have found some success with is doing a long, steady state um, endurance piece, holding the breath for somewhere between five and seven seconds on the inhale at the end of each minute. Um, there are some other things that we can do as well. This can be walking um, while on a breath hold, running on a breath hold, farmers carry on a breath hold, whatever you want to try. Um, you can mix these with doing it on the inhale and doing it on the exhale. Um, something that we do with the Art of Breath is called dry land swimming, um, where we do farmers carries on a full exhale for distance. And uh, what that does is it increases some CO2 tolerance. It helps you better utilize the oxygen that you've gotten in your system beforehand. And um, in general, just leads to uh, some different adaptations and a more interesting training response than if we just did normal fair farmer's carries or normal steady state activities.